In this video, I want to cover mesh construction, uh, which is the different way in which meshes can be constructed in 3D modeling. And the place to start when you're discussing that is with primitives. So a geometric primitive is just a basic building block of 3D geometry, uh, and examples include things such as cubes, spheres, and cylinders. They're pre-built shapes, and they're available to 3D modelers as a way to save time, and they make great starting points for a variety of more complex models. The properties of primitives can usually be easily changed to allow modelers to add extra subdivisions or to change the look of the shape. So an example might be adding more coils in a helix. Primitives can be used effectively to create detailed looking assets such as uh, the ones in these examples here. So you can see this robot here is completely built out of primitives but does look quite detailed. Mm, the bear's not as good, but you get the point. Primitives are often used as the starting point and are followed up by more advanced modeling techniques such as box modeling or extrusion modeling, which um, I feel like we should cover now. So let's look at box modeling. This is a technique used for creating polygon models in which the artist begins with a 3D primitive, often a cube, which is where it got the name box modeling, and then the shape is refined until the desired shape has been created. So like this example here, you can see that a really basic shape was taken as a starting point and this was then further refined into the head that you see at the end. And uh, next we'll have a look at extrusion modeling. Extrusion modeling also tends to start with a primitive such as a cube but rather than adding subdivisions in the same way that is done with box modeling new geometry is created with each extrusion. So as you can see in this example one face has been selected and then the extrusion pulls that out and rather than affecting the geometry around it, it just creates new faces to accommodate it. The two approaches that I've discussed here aren't mutually exclusive and in most cases these techniques need to be used together in order to create a complex and accurate model. There's also a range of other methods of creating 3D meshes that are worth investigating which include edge or contour modeling, NURBS modeling, digital sculpting, procedural modeling, image-based modeling, and 3D scanning. Right, that's all I want to get through in this video. I hope it's been useful to you. I hope you've now got an understanding of different types of mesh construction. If not, feel free to contact me. Um, have a go through Facebook or drop a comment below. Other than that, subscribe and check out the other videos. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.